Hello children of class 5, we are learning the chapter Blow Hot Blow Cold from Looking Around Book. From where we have learned that we can blow air to warm our hand, to cool hot teas and coffee, also with the help of the air blown from our mouth. We are able to lead the shula properly. And today we will learn from page number 143. There we will learn the other activities that also can be done with the help of blowing air, like playing, blowing whistle. The whistle we can make from the piece of paper, wrapper of a toffee, a leaf, a balloon, a cap of a pen. So when on these things the air is blown very hard from our mouth, a beautiful sound comes out. This is a high frequency. Some sound are soft, some are louder. Have you seen people playing different musical instruments like food, dholak, bean, guitar, midangam, etc.? And can you recognize their sound with your eyes closed? Yes, we can recognize their sound by closing our eyes. Among these, some instruments are played by blowing into them, like flute, beam, uh, saxophone, mouth organ, etc. Now, let's move on. Do this and discuss. Have you seen someone blowing on their spectacles to wipe them clean? How does the air from the mouth help in cleaning the spectacles? Yes, we have seen the people's wipe the spectacles by blowing on it. The air blown from mouth not only remove the dust, it also make the glass wet. And when we wipe with a clean cloth, it become clean. Now, next point, take a glass, bring it near your mouth and blow hard on it. Do this two or three times. Does the glass look hazy? Yes, it looks hazy. Can you make a mirror hazy in the same way? Yes. Can you tell by touching the mirror what made it hazy? Is the air you blow from your mouth dry or wet? Yes. After doing so three or times, if we touch the mirror, we will feel it is wet. That means the air comes out from our mouth, contains water vapor. Now, what makes hazy the glass? The air blown from our mouth actually is hot and contains water vapor. When it touches the cold mirror or cold glass, the water vapor change into tiny water droplets, and for which it looks hazy. So. The water vapor when come contact with the cold mirror, it change into tiny droplets. That means there is a change of gaseous state to liquid state. So, that very tiny droplets of water makes the glass hazy. Now, put your hand on your chest when you breathe in and does your chest comes out or in? When we breathe in and breathe out, our chest come in and come when we breathe in our chest come out and when we breathe out our chest go in and with the help of a measuring tape you can measure your chest when we breathe in when we breathe out and the measurement you have to write in the place where it is written here, here you have to write the measurement of your chest. Ask, you can also ask your friend to do this one or you can try by different number of times. Now, put your finger under your nose. Can you feel any air when you breathe out from your nose? Yes. Count how many times in one minute do you breathe in and breathe out? You have to count this one and write the number of times here jumps 30 times 
did you feel breathless yes when we do hard work and jump and run sometimes we feel breathless now again count how many times in one minute you breathe in and breathe out means after jumping again you are to measure and write here then you can see the difference between the rate of breathing in and out before and after jumping now can you tell me the name of the device which can uh, measure the heartbeat okay. that is called stacker sorry stethoscope the stethoscope also you can do in your home by yourself by taking a pipe and inserting one funnel at the other side put your the funnel on your chest where there is a heart and another end of the pipe in your ear you can get the sound of your heartbeat do this activity next another activity which says in which direction air is blowing for that you need to make a paper snake this paper snake you can make very easily by taking a round paper of 10 to 15 cm wide and cut it in a spiral way now the paper snake is ready uh, tie two knots with the thread one with the upper side and uh, hang a small piece of button or small piece of chalk with the tail now place it over the candle or hot tea or hot water when you place it over the hot substance you will see the hot airs come in the outer upward direction that time the snake will move in the clockwise direction and when the air blows in the downward direction it moves in the anti-clockwise direction in this way we can easily say by using the movement of the paper snake in which direction air is blowing upward or downward so children do this activity in your home very easy and try this activity in different places in your home thank you for watching the video